We'll begin with David O. Uh, yeah, Josh, what did uh, Thanksgiving weekend look like for, for you guys uh, as a team? Uh, as a team, um, he gave us the uh, the option to go home if we lived within a close distance. So a lot of us just spent Thanksgiving with our families, and some guys stayed here and had Thanksgiving in the facility. Jimmy Himes, they just stopped. Josh, you've only had a couple of games in like a five-week period. Has that been difficult to adjust to that? Um, a little bit. You know, you get used to running a lot, and then when you get a lot of time off, it doesn't really um, it's hard to get your legs back. But I feel like with the with the breaks, um, we've been able to get our legs back under us, running a little bit more. Uh, especially this past week, we ran a little bit more, but. I mean, you know, we just come out to practice and we work hard, and that's what we do here. So, a lot of the time, it works out. So, we should we should be good for game day. On the flip, on the flip side, I wonder if you would have fresh legs going into this last three game stretch. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Like like I said before, the only difficult part is when you're not running and getting your legs back. But once you start running a little bit more, you start to get your legs back. So. You know we've been starting that this week, so it should be it should be good on game day. Stop it, Josh. You played against Florida three times. It's your senior year. How special is to play against Florida at home? And I imagine you definitely feel this game. You want to beat the rival. Yeah, I've always wanted to beat them. I never really understood the rivalry when I first came here as a freshman, but throughout the years, I've I've grown to. You know, dislike Florida, but in a, in a friendly way, in a, in a competitive way. But it's always exciting to play Florida, and I look forward to the game. We'll go to Rob Lewis, then Rick Russo. Hey, Josh, with you know, so much practice time and, and so few games in, in the last three or four weeks, where do you feel like the offense has maybe made the most improvement? Just understanding the game plan. We've had a lot of time to really sit down with Cheney and him just explaining to us the whys and why we're doing certain things and how we're supposed to do them. So uh, I think with a lot of this time off, we've been able to understand what he wants out of us. Josh, how, how frustrating has it, two questions, how, how frustrating has it been, you know, watching other teams play and you guys not being able to get out there and, and play some football? Number two, the concern level for your teammates who might be going through contact tracing and, and, and the hope that everything's okay and those guys are fine. Mm -hmm. So to answer your first question, it's, it's a little frustrating knowing that um, that we should be playing and seeing other teams play. But, you know, um, I guess it's a blessing in disguise. We get more time to game plan, more time to understand the offense. And to answer your second question, you know, next guy up mentality. Um, you know, the guys, the guys that are out should be back very soon, and we're excited to have them back. But... You know, I'm excited to see how the team responds. All right, Patrick Brown, and back to David Upton. Josh, I know you guys have three games left, but the NCAA, of course, made this a, a pre-year of eligibility, uh, so seniors could, like you, could come back next season. Have you had any, given any thoughts of what decision you might make about returning next season, or is that something you uh, aren't really considering right now? Uh, I haven't really considered it right now, so I'm just waiting to see how this season plays out. Is there any factors you think might play into that decision when the time comes for you to kind of pick one or the other? Oh, yeah, always. There's always factors in when it comes to um, decision-making, when it comes to making big decisions. But, you know, I haven't really weighed all the options yet, so I'm just ready to get out with my team and win these next three games. Hey. Uh, Josh, how would you describe what you've seen from um, Harrison Bailey in practice the last couple of weeks? And uh, secondly... How would you describe the, the mood of the, the team right now? Uh, the to answer the first question, you know, Harrison's coming along. Obviously, he didn't get a lot of reps because um, of the fall camp and not having a spring. But all the quarterbacks are rallying together, you know, pushing him. The receivers are pushing him. The coaches are pushing him. And, you know, we're excited to see how he's going to respond. And, you know, he's responding well in practice. So, so that's really exciting to see. And to answer the second question, um, I think our team morale is high, you know, We've been off for, for some time. You know, you said two games in the past five weeks. So we're just eager to get back out there and play. Go back 
quarterback to Jimmy Himes and David Pascal. Josh, what makes you such a, a really good deep ball threat? What is it about you? Uh, I work on it all the time, every day after practice. You know, I have my um, my my I call them my jug guys where they shoot me the jugs every day after practice. Uh, Will and Ben. So I just whatever I feel like I'm weak at, I try to work on it every day after practice with the quarterbacks, with with the coaches, with anybody I can. Does that come natural to you, or have you had to learn how to uh, maybe high point a ball or locate a ball on deep throws? Uh, athletically, it it came naturally, but you know once you got here, you know the the balls are thrown at different angles. They're a lot harder than it was in high school, so it's always something that I'm working on. I felt like I needed to improve. Josh, when you look at these last several days, LSU, Kentucky, South Carolina, they've all had players elect to opt out. Um, why do you think that, that has not happened at, at Tennessee? Um, you know, I. I don't. I don't know the reasons for players opting out of others at other schools. You know, probably them declaring for the draft and stuff like that. But I mean, I can't really speak for them. But I know for us, we're just we're just really bought in, and you know, we've we've come together as a team, and we're just trying to trying to finish the season strong. You know, a lot of unfortunate events have happened throughout the throughout the year that we didn't expect. Um, but at the end of the day, we all we all came in with a goal, and now we have to accomplish that goal. We did. We were all in or all out, and. We were all in, no matter what happened. Back to Patrick Brown, Nick Gustavo. Josh, how would you kind of assess how, how you played the season? What are some things that you think you, you've done well and, and, and were some areas that you would like to maybe have back and wish you could maybe perform better in over the past seven games? Oh, uh, man. I probably have a list of things that, I wish I could have done better in games. You know, every loss, I feel like there was something I could have done better that would have changed the tide of the game. Um, the stuff I did well, I mean, I feel like when I played well, we had good results in the game, and if I played bad, then we had bad results in the game. So I, pre I put a lot of I put a lot of weight on my shoulders to help this team. Um, but you know, there's always things I, I need to improve on. So I don't really look at the things I'm supposed to do well because. You know, I'm supposed to do it, you know? Stop it. Josh, Tennessee has not played at home in six weeks. How much you miss playing at Elon Stadium in front of your fans? Uh, I miss it, you know. Uh, the away games definitely take a toll on the flights, and I'm excited to get back in Neyland and with the fans and play a heck of a game and beat Florida. Two more questions. We'll go Dan Harrelson and then back to Jimmy Himes. Um, well, I see Blake raised hand, but let's go Dan. Hey, Josh. You mentioned the jug machines after practice. Is that something that you think helps with your footwork and timing? And do you usually do that on man-to-man -man coverage uh, after practice? Yeah. Um, like I said, I have the two guys, Will and Ben, that help me every day. So Will will play defense and will play me harder than a normal DB could um, in the game because, you know, the refs will call it pass interferences. So, and that's an everyday thing I've been doing for the past two years uh, with these guys. So they've helped me a lot in my development. And uh, footwork, I just I don't really think it helps with footwork, but it helps with hand-eye coordination uh, just when I work on getting the depth of certain routes. And then you know, I'll work with the quarterbacks later so we can develop timing. Sherry Gray ranks among the leaders in the SEC in rushing and in all-purpose yards. And I wonder, from your perspective, what impresses you the most about Eric Gray? His competitiveness, his toughness. You know, he wants the ball, and he wants to show the world what he could do. And it's our responsibility as receivers to help him show that. So, you know, we're excited to see when he breaks, when he breaks long runs and we're the ones blocking for him. Last question, Blake Topmeyer. Josh, you, you talked about Harrison a little bit earlier, but we've seen him play in, in some late game situations, some fourth quarter situations, but if he is to get an opportunity to, to maybe start or play early in, in Saturday's game, is there something about him that makes you think uh, he would be able to, to handle that moment, uh, you know, starting or playing early against a, a rival like Flu? Yeah, you know, he's, he's calm and cool and collected, so, you know, when you see him get 
put into the game in the fourth quarter is you don't really see him uh, really thinking too much. But I feel like we have a have a good game plan for him, and he's coming along well as a quarterback and as a young guy. So, like I said before, we're just excited to see what he what he shows in the game. All right, thank you, Josh. All right, thank you.